Hello and welcome, it's the Crocheteer here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to crochet a simple bumblebee. So here is an image of the bee that we'll be making today. And for this bee, you're going to need black wool, yellow wool, and white wool. You can change these colours however you like, but these are what I'm going to be using. I will also be using a 4mm crochet hook, as well as a pair of scissors. So we're going to start with our yellow wool. We're going to make a slip knot. And we're going to chain two. Now, we're going to do six single crochets into the first chain. And there are our six single crochets. Now we're going to single crochet one. And then we're going to do an increased stitch into the next stitch. So we're going to single crochet into it like normal and then do another single crochet into the same hole. Now we're going to repeat that twice more. So we're going to do a single crochet, and then an increase stitch, And then we're going to do a single crochet. And another increase stitch. This should leave you with nine stitches. Now I'm going to push it so it's slightly inside out. And then we're going to get our black wool. So to change colour, we're going to put our hook into the next stitch like normal, we're going to pull through a black loop, and then we're going to pull the black wool through both of the loops. We've now changed to black. Now we're going to do eight single crochets to bring us back round to the bottom. And there's our eight single crochets. Now we're going to swap back to yellow. So we're going to insert our hook, pull through a yellow hook, a uh, yellow loop, and pull the yellow through both. Now we're going to do 
eight single crochets in yellow. Now we're going to swap to black wool. So we're going to insert our hook, pull through a black loop, and then pull the wool through both loops. We're now going to do another eight stitches. And I think you know how it works by now. So we're going to carry on until we think it's a good length. I think it could do with maybe double the length. So insert our hook and pull our yellow wool through and then pull our yellow through, wool through all of it. Going to pull our black wool through and through again and do another eight stitches. And I think that is a good length. So now we're going to do a slip stitch. So we're going to insert our hook, pull a loop of black wool through, and then pull that loop through the other loop. Now cut the wool relatively long, and you can cut the yellow wool off. and then pull the black wool through. Now, it's time for stuffing. So we'll grab some stuffing. We'll just pull a little bit off and make sure it's nice and fluffy. Before putting it into the bee. He could do with a bit more. And there we go. The bee is now nice and stuffed. So to sew up the back, I'm going to pull the wool in and out of the stitches and then pull it tight. So, I'm going to insert my hook into the last stitch where I did the slip stitch and pull my wool through to the outside. Now I'm going to put it from the inside outwards into the stitch which is after that stitch we just pulled it through and we're going to pull it all through. I understand it's quite hard to see because of the black wool, but in the next stitch, we're going to put it through from the outside and pull the wool in. We're basically weaving it 
through the stitches we have left. through the same stitch I finished on and I'm going to pull it tight and it closes up nicely. Now I'm just going to make a loop with the remaining wool. So I'm going to insert my hook through a stitch, pull a loop through and then pull the wool through that loop. Pull it tight and this will secure the wool so it doesn't come undone. Now we can thread that wool into the bee. And there is the main body of the bee. So, for wings, we're going to find the top. So, here I can see this is the bottom of the bee. You can see the lines don't match up and it's a bit scruffy. So we're going to keep that as the bottom. So, turning to the other side, we're going to insert our hook. I'm going to insert it around the black line, the second black stripe we did. Now, we're going to grab the white wool. And we're going to pull a loop of white wool through. Now, we're going to do eight chains. And we're going to slip stitch back into the same hole that we pulled the white loop through originally. This will give us a nice wing. Very easy and very effective. So cutting the wool, nice and short, we don't need it for anything else. We will pull that wool into the bee's body. And then we will do exactly the same on the other side. So I'm going to insert my hook around the black stripe. I'm now going to pull a loop of wool through. And I'm going to do eight chains. Now I'm going to slip stitch back into the same hole I pulled the white loop through originally. We'll cut the wool and thread it in. And here we have our bee with two wings. Now it's your choice whether you give your bee eyes. For the eyes, we're simply going to insert the hook and we're going to come out just above. Using black wool or any wool you wish. It doesn't have to be black. If the stripes are black, and they come a little too close, you could use a different colour, so they're nice and obvious. 
notch. Now, cut a length of wool. It doesn't have to be long at all. And pull it through where we put our hook in. Now we're going to wrap the wool around a few times. I'm going to do it three times and then pull it out the middle of the face. Now I'm going to repeat that on the other side. So I'm going to insert my hook, come out vertically above. Actually, before you do that, make sure the black wool you're using is available. So there we go, my black wool's now coming out of the hole here. I will now put it vertically up and wrap it around three times. And there we have the very simple bee. Now it's your choice whether you add little antennae on top. I am going to do that and show you how. So, this is even more simple than the eyes. You're going to get another length of black wool. Cut it a little longer, but it, again, doesn't have to be very long at all. Now, you can choose how tightly you do the antennae, but we're going to use this first black stripe we made. I'm going to insert it just above the eye, and then just behind, a row behind the eye, because this one attaches to the black here. I'm then going to pull the wool through. Now, to make the antennae stand up, I'm simply going to wrap it around one of the stitches And then it will stand up. I will repeat the same on this side. So I'm just going to wrap it around one of the stitches and leave it standing up. Now you cut them to how long you want them to be. I'm going to do just a few centimeters. And the bee has little antennae. So I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please hit that like button, subscribe for more free and easy patterns just like this, and comment if there's anything you'd like to see me make in a future video. Thank you for watching.